A couple of weeks ago, we released a video talking about all of the Facebook targeting options. If you're interested in that video, you can check it out right here. In that video, I briefly mention Facebook Advantage Plus audiences, just enough to turn them off because I didn't want to talk about them in that video, but I did mention that we would be putting together another video around those, so here we are. In this video, I want to walk through what Facebook Advantage Plus audiences are, when you might want to use them in your account, and how they differ from regular targeting options. This Pay Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. Just like other videos on this channel, we're going to start off with the Facebook help article about Advantage Plus audiences because I think that'll help clarify things a little bit. So if we scroll down a little bit, the first thing we get to see is a very brief description of what Meta Advantage Plus audiences are. They basically allow Meta to use their advanced AI to find an audience for your campaigns. Now they've got some stats in here that talk about the great results they've seen. You can read those on your own. I don't really care about those until I see them in my account. But I want to come down to how these work. I think that helps give a little bit more clarity. With Advantage Plus Audience, the AI uses information to find your audience based on your past conversions, your pixel data, and interactions with your previous ads. So effectively, everything is going to be based on machine learning and how your potential customers are engaging with your brand or your pixels on the Facebook platform itself. Now, there are a couple other things down here that talk about audience controls and audience suggestions. And I don't want to get too far into those without just jumping into the platform to talk about it. But the biggest thing to know on this page is Advantage Plus audiences are effectively a new AI format for Facebook to try and find your target audience using these different inputs. So let's hop into an account real quick. And since this is a live client account and I don't want to have to blur anything out, I've gone ahead, created a new draft campaign and I hopped into the ad set because that's where all the targeting lives. And I scrolled down past all the sensitive information to the audiences section. Now in that targeting options video, this is where I skipped over it pretty quick. I clicked this button that says switch to original audience options and I left this advantage plus audience stuff for later. But now we're actually gonna go through it. So the first piece is going to be audience controls. And this is where you set the criteria for the ads in your campaign to be delivered. These are the strict guidelines that you can add to your campaign to make sure that Facebook doesn't show your ads to people that should not see them. So for this, the one you can see here is location. You can adjust this just like you would any other targeting options on the platform. So I'm not going to go through that. But then there are also a few other options in this show more section where you can set a minimum age as well as excluding custom audiences. So if you have a list of customers that you do not want to reach back out to, you can add them here as well as different languages. So all of these different things are helping to restrict where your campaigns will show, knowing that the majority of the audience decisions is going to be made by Facebook and not by you. Now, with that in mind, we do have some ability to help guide Advantage Plus audiences, and that's going to be in this section down below. I'm going to close these up a little bit, scroll down, and here you can see the Advantage Plus audience section where it again reiterates that their ad tech will find your audience, but you can share audience suggestions. They are optional, but that Facebook or Meta will prioritize the audiences matching the profiles that you provide before reaching more broadly. So if I click into this section here, it should look pretty familiar. You have the custom audiences, age ranges, genders, and all the detailed targeting that you would have as if you were using the original targeting options. But in this instance, they're all suggestions. And Facebook will take these as guidelines to try and find audiences that match these first before reaching out into additional audience members that their AI thinks are going to be a good value for you. So when you add in any custom audiences in here or any age ranges or genders, know that these are not hard lines. Adding an age range here will not limit your audience to targeting only those age ranges, but Facebook says it will try and prioritize those users before it reaches beyond that list. You'll also notice that there are no options to exclude 
anyone in this section. You can't exclude anybody that has certain interests. You can't actually exclude any certain genders. And the only way you can do anything around custom audiences is to add that in in this audience controls section. So if you wanna use any of the audience suggestions here, make sure that you know that this is not a perfect option, does not guarantee that you will get in front of these users. So now that you know how it works, let's talk about when it works and if you should test it. Back in this help article here, Facebook says that they recommend experimenting with Advantage Plus audience in almost all campaign types. I'm at least a fan that they use the word experimenting, they don't just say change all of your ads to Advantage Plus audience. They want you to test it first, but there are some exceptions here. For anybody trying to do a shopping campaign or an app campaign, they suggest that you continue to use the more robust solutions for those options, the Advantage Plus shopping campaign or Advantage Plus app campaigns. Additionally, for remarketing campaigns, they do not suggest using this for regular remarketing campaigns, and it is not eligible for remarketing campaigns based on shopping catalogs. If you think about it, that makes total sense. Advantage Plus is designed to have the broadest sense of targeting possible to narrow down into. Those are Facebook's words, not mine. So remarketing campaigns do not fit that bill. You're trying to target a narrow set of users because you know how they engage with you. Advantage Plus does not make sense for that. Now, one last question you might have is, why would I use Advantage Plus audience if I've already been seeing success with broad targeting? Now, broad targeting is a strategy that can work well on the Facebook platform. If you're not familiar with it, broad targeting basically just means letting Facebook target anybody and optimize towards certain actions, whether it's link clicks, conversion actions, purchases, any of that stuff without any other parameters in place other than maybe some location, age, gender, basic demographic information. The way Facebook frames it, the Advantage Plus audience is going to have more AI power behind it because you're using the audience suggestions as opposed to just the broad targeting where it's based solely on the pixels. My guess is somehow the combination of your input versus all the data they have should yield a better result. That follows common sense to me. But just like everything else, I would definitely suggest testing Advantage Plus audiences against your regular detailed targeting, against lookalike audiences, as well as against broad targeting if you've been using that as well. In the end, Advantage Plus audiences are just another tool that Meta originally announced in May of 2023 that had all sorts of different tools and features and options that are based off of AI. So this is definitely the way forward on the Meta platform. They're only leaning further into their AI technology. So I would highly suggest you at least test using some of these Advantage Plus audiences because I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we have some of the other targeting options taken away, and these might be the only ones moving forward. This is also another strong point for making sure that all of your conversion tracking is set up and is tracking accurately to what you're seeing in your own business. Since it utilizes all of the pixel information, the conversion actions as a source of that AI insight, having that be accurate is immensely important. If for some reason your tracking is incorrect or you don't have it, you'll probably see much worse results than people who have it, everything set up perfectly and it's tracking accurately. If you have any additional questions about Advantage Plus audiences, or if you've tested them and have your own personal case study, we would love to hear anything you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.